What's up, YouTube? Welcome to today's side hustle of the day. I hope you can't hear that loud noise out the window. It sounds like somebody's excavating over there. Uh, but I think the sound quality of this is uh, tweaked to where you won't get a lot of outside noise. So as I'm sitting here, because these are recorded daily, I record them daily, I upload them right when I record them, and there's not a whole lot of, you know, I don't bank episodes for the most part, at least not yet. In the future, when I'm out of town, I might have to do that. But as I'm sitting here thinking about what I want to make uh, this episode about today, if I wanted to do another week where it's kind of uh, like last week was driver's week, things you would do with your car, side hustles and things like that, driving or your personal vehicles or whatever, I, uh, I couldn't decide on a weekly theme, not to say that I want to do that every week, but I did think or I did read and, and listen to something that triggered uh, a specific thought that could, could be potentially something that we talk about for the rest of this week, but really it's going to be freelancing. I myself personally am a full-time digital freelancer uh, and also professional podcaster, but it's with the same person. I used to do client work for other people, for other things, and I still actually do that. I took on another little project, uh, which was a referral from my main uh, client, and, and that's cool. It's, it, they're in the same world. It's similar work, so it's cool, but rewind back a couple of years, I would, do, I would take on things that I knew how to do, but th this is a problem with client services is that, for instance, if you're, everyone, it seems like these days, or at least maybe because I'm immersed in it, I see a lot of ads for it. Everyone's a digital advertiser. Everyone's a marketer. Everyone is a course creator. Everyone is some kind of guru, right? And a lot of those people do know what they're talking about and do offer great services and products. And others just, they're kind of, I don't want to say they're snake, uh, snake oil salesmen, but they, they pad a lot of the stuff that they uh, offer with stuff that doesn't really work. But anyway... I digress. Uh, what you can do is is find out what you're good at, whether it's building websites. Maybe you can generate leads for companies. Maybe you can uh, just set up their online presence because a company has been, let's say a company has been around for a while and they don't have one yet. They don't have any social media outlets. They don't have a Facebook page. They're unfamiliar with what a Facebook business manager is and you know what you can do as far as advertising on there. And, and you're that person that wants to do that. Okay, well then become the entity that wants to help that person and maybe potentially other businesses and start your own agency. That's the only real word I can use. You're basically a freelancer. You call yourself an agency, call yourself a whatever you want, an academy, uh, an establishment of whatever kind of sorts, but, but start working in that world because then you're able to dictate how much you charge for your services, right? Let's see your website builder. There's plenty of examples, and as the week goes on, I'll probably end up uh, highlighting one or two or more of these specific people that did specific things. The first thing that comes to mind is one that I heard a long time ago when I was first getting into this, probably about three, four years ago or so. And it was uh, a gentleman, and keep in mind that things change all the time when it comes to digital advertising. So when it comes to SEO stuff is one thing, and then when it comes to Facebook ads and, and Instagram ads and Snapchat and all that stuff, it's constantly changing. There's new things that are available to you for, for better information and you know, retarding all this stuff, and I don't want to talk about that specifically today, but what I do want to talk about is, is that, is pick your thing that you want to do, like for instance, this gentleman would only work with, initially, he started working with dentists. He would basically uh, reach out to all the dentists in the area, and every dentist needs new leads, right? They need people to clean their teeth, they need new people to, you know, potentially do braces for, or cavities, or whatever, whatever dentists, everything that dentists do. And a lot of them are very referral-based. They've been in certain communities for a long time. Maybe it's even a family practice. Some of them are new. Come in. No matter who it is, you need more people in the door. And you have to get those offers that you're putting out, you know, into your uh, clientele base, Rolodex or whatever, out to those people and then people they know and people they know. So what this person did was he said, hey, doctor, let's call him Dr. D. Dr. Eh, Dr. D sounds a little weird. Uh, Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith. Uh, I am a digital advertiser. I'm very proficient with Facebook ads and Instagram ads, and I think that I could provide a service for you as far as generating leads and getting new people in the door. Dr. Smith says, that's awesome. What do you charge? This guy's like, you know, initially to get the clientele, to get the, the word going, he's like, let me, let me run a trial for a week, 14 days or whatever, and see what I can generate for you, and then we'll go from there. Started getting people in the door, and then they sat down, had a meeting, and he charged X amount, you know, to do X work, and then his client services business began. And from there, he was able to scale to do, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars a month with that specific industry, just dentists. And he moved on to, you know, realtors and plastic surgeons. And what I'm getting at basically is pick, a, pick something that you're interested in. Maybe you're starting to learn about it already. Maybe you already know quite a bit about it. Become an expert. Expert Secrets talks a lot about it. So does Dotcom Secrets. Uh, become an expert in that thing. 
and then figure out how you can offer those services to somebody else. This is totally something you can do on the side. Just take on one client, one or two clients a month maybe, and you work on a retainer for them, and you're able to, to provide whatever it is that they need. Maybe you're just maybe it's just a one-time kind of thing like you do build their website. But client services can be very, very uh, stressful and taxing if you know the, the person you're working for doesn't believe that what you're offering after a while is you know, working or what have you, but you have to work those terms out from the beginning and have some kind of plan for uh, making course correction, basically. Like, okay, we'll try something else. Bottom line is you can go from making nothing on the side with this knowledge that you have on advertising or uh, course creation or, you know, design, website building, doesn't matter, from making nothing to making a substantial amount of money if you can get enough clients and you like the work or you just want to work with one and make that extra money on the side. So think about what it is you like to do reach out to your local businesses, see what pain points these local businesses have, and then try to fill those voids for them. Everyone needs more clients. Everyone needs to make more sales. Everyone needs to pay their overhead, their rent, and their employees. So the more money that you can create for them, the more money that you're going to create for yourself. It takes a lot of work, takes a lot of effort, can be very stressful, but it can also be very rewarding. And the opportunities that it opens later on down the line, later on down the line could be priceless. So Guys, remember that a goal without a plan is just a wish. So let's start today or yesterday. You should have started two weeks ago and started this channel planning out what it is you want to get to and how you're going to go about doing that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy your Monday or whatever day you watch this.